Mark, how are you? I am good. I'm good. Thanks for having me on this. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, look, um, first of all, a huge congratulations on Virgin River Season 4. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's exciting. It's it's been a long time that we've we shot this and I've been waiting and I can't say anything, couldn't like couldn't talk about it, couldn't post much about it. And it was really fun to kind of like finally release it to these extremely like I'm I'm just like the fan base on this show is 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 something like I've never seen. And I'm very, very lucky to be part of it. And just to finally get to show them who Dr. Cameron Hayek is, is pretty cool. I know a lot of people were anticipating and, and taking bets on what my, what my character was going to be like, what, we, what was he going to do in Virgin River? Who was he going to interfere with? But uh, I'm glad to finally uh, to put it out there. Awesome. Hey, um, Mark, we have got a fan who's actually in, <clears throat> excuse me, Vancouver at the moment. Um, there is a group of ladies who, uh, came together from all over the world, who you'll get to talk to shortly. But um, she's so she's been there for the two weeks, and she's actually at the airport, and she's about to board. So um, uh, we're we're yeah. actually going to go to her first before she boards her plane. Um, okay. So Marissa, do you want to ask Mark the very first question? Oh, Marissa, unmute yourself. <laughs> there we go. Standard Zoom. Who, yeah. Sorry about that. Got, got to unmute it, Marissa. There we are. Hi. I just wanted to say sorry about the noise. I'm at the airport. Uh, All good. I just Where are you going to back to? Thank you very much for meeting us. I'm going back from Vancouver to London. Oh, wow. Because I Safe live in flight. England. Thank you. Amazing. I was here meeting friends and we visited some of the crucial locations of Virgin River. <laughs> so it was oh, very nice. Uh, you, uh, you joined the show, well, with an existing cast. Did you realize what a big impact it had on us fans? And was it easy to join the others that had already worked together? Did you feel welcome? So yeah, I mean, every time you join a cast of an existing show, um, you know, I've been I've been lucky to be part of shows that started from the ground up, and I was one of the main cast at the beginning, and so there's that experience. And then when you, but most of the time, you know, as an actor, you would join, you usually join a show that's already existing, and um, it's sort of like the first day of school, and you kind of wonder which table to sit at at lunch. Um, but I. Uh, Absolutely, this cast is is bar none one of the most wonderful group of people I've ever worked with, um, and Alexandra is was was completely super welcoming, very kind, very like very you know she's 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 been in the game for a long long time, so she's been in my position before too, and so it was wonderful to just uh, come into this group, um, and I kind of had to hit the ground running. I was the first day of the first, like the first day of the shoot for last year. I was, I was up. It was like the first scene of the day. It was me. And so they were like, welcome. And, uh, and just threw me into the deep end. And I worked with, with Alex and, uh, Tim right off the bat. And they're, they're just wonderful. Uh, the whole, the whole crew, super welcoming, um, very professional. It's like a well-oiled machine. So you come into it and they all know what, uh, how to do it. And so they just brought me on and uh, and and with with open arms and it's been it's been really wonderful. Um, I can't I can't say enough good things about this this uh, this show. Okay, that's great to hear. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you for the question. <laughs> Are you uh, and, and you're about to catch the plane? I hope you don't miss yep. it, and I hope you have a safe no, flight. No, I won't. <laughs> thank you. Let I'm us glad know to when you get home safely, Marissa. Oh well, of course. Thank you. So, Mark, we have got fans um, who are joining in. We've got from South Africa, the Netherlands, um, Italy, France, New Zealand, which is which is pretty cool. We've got a couple of fans who it's midnight where they are. Um, wow. Wow, which is pretty cool. I'm this just, is amazing. Sorry. Um, so right now we are actually going to go to Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth is a school teacher in the USA and mm -hmm. she's on her third time viewing the Virgin River. So Elizabeth, what's your question? Okay, can everyone hear me? Yes. Hey. Okay, hi Mark. Well, hi. first off, um, congratulations on being number one in the US, number one worldwide. Um, it's crazy. We all of our fan, all the fans knew that it was going to happen. Um, <laughs> 
But a huge congratulations with that. Um, so my question for you is, what was your favorite memory or scene that you have filmed for season four? Um, obviously, like it's, it's hard, especially people that are watching the show um, that haven't seen it yet. Maybe not all the episodes. Um, so spoiler alert to anybody that hasn't seen it yet. Um, would definitely be the... Uh, one of the last episodes it, it was um the scene where we're in the restaurant and and mm -hmm. she takes me out for lunch um alex's character takes uh, takes me out for lunch and just the the depth of that scene and and what it meant to discuss the things that my character has lived through and try to try to help her through something overstepping quite a bit in 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 that but but really coming from a place of just just actually cares doesn't does not dislike jack is not trying to interfere but more like i'm worried about you i've been in the same situation and just the way that alex um like just her style and the way she is like effortlessly just just super supportive and kind and she was just a wonderful scene partner it was definitely one of my favorite scenes to shoot um just having to go through that journey of Kind of putting your foot in your mouth and and yeah it was absolutely that that uh, one of those final scenes for the season great yeah i do have to say that when your character was first announced i know that i'm not the only one that was thinking this i'm like oh no um but honestly your character throughout the whole season has like really grown on me i'm like okay it's oh, all good, good. So I'm I, I'm a fan of Dr. Cam. So <laughs> I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear that because you know when when you shoot this stuff you never know what the final edit's going to look like. You never know what the audience um, response is going to be to a new character, especially when he's possibly interfering with the two beloveds. Mm -hmm. And um, it was it was the goal of 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 us and on the creative side as well, the writing and everything. It was the it was their goal to to sort of present me similar to the books in terms of he's not the he's not the mean guy not the meddler he's not trying to steal anybody but just like humans you can't help who you have feelings for and you know he started falling for her but it was kind of taking him by surprise too he didn't have this design right off the bat and wasn't trying to shake it up in, in a bad way and so I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, what's in store um you know see if uh, see if he sticks around for season five yeah well we'll be watching <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the question. I appreciate that. Awesome. You're welcome. Mark, um, just to let you know, we do have some fans who are watching this live uh, from YouTube. So a big shout out to them. And I've got one of my friends is just typing out the comments for me. I mean, the questions to ask you. So we'll get to them shortly. Um, Mark, I, I would just like to ask a question. Are you able to tell us yeah. a bit about the time where um, you auditioned for a show? Um, and then six years later, um, <laughs> yeah, you got a phone call from that audition. Okay, so yeah, that's 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 sort of like my 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 calling card to this industry. Um, in 1997, I believe, I there was casting happening in Calgary for a movie with Robert Duvall and and uh, Kevin Costner, Open Range. It shot in Calgary, and I remember they were casting out of this building that uh, my father had owned. And he's like, "They're doing uh, my Le my Lebanese father. I'll be doing his accent throughout uh, my life. Um, he, they're doing this casting for this movie. You should come uh, try out for it." And I was I was doing real estate at the time. I was in university doing a finance degree, and I was like, "Yeah, that'd be fun." Like just thinking nothing of it. And so I go in. They take a Polaroid. This is how long ago it was. They take my Polaroid. They take my measurements um, and my phone number. And they're like, yeah, we might need you to play like some background in this sort of Western kind of film. And I was like, cool, whatever. And I was, you know, I had, was doing many other things and I wasn't like, it wasn't my sole focus. And then nothing happened of it. I didn't get it. I didn't get a sniff. Nobody called me nothing. Um, six years later, we're talking 2003, I get a random phone call from the background casting agency saying, hey, is this Mark? And I was like, yep. Yeah, it's Mark. Um, you auditioned or you tried out for this uh, for this open range thing uh, back in the day. Um, we're doing a movie. It was a it was a TV movie with Juliette Lewis called Chasing Freedom. We're doing this movie and we want you to play like an Afghani villager. Uh, can you do you want to do that? And at the time, I was working for the bank and I had my own schedule. I wasn't like I didn't have office hours and I was and I thought if six years later 
someone's going to call me out of the blue. I didn't change my phone number. I didn't move. I didn't get a face tattoo. I didn't like, <laughs> you know, nothing changed about me. Um, I thought if that's going to happen, I should, I should maybe answer the call. So I was like, yeah, absolutely. Let's do this. And so I showed up the next day. They put me in this like headdress and like this like villager gown and like wisp. I had this wispy long beard and, and all in the makeup and everything. And they all, they, they shuttle us out to this, uh, this commercial district where they had changed this place into like a bombed out Afghani village. And it was, uh, it was, it was, it was beautiful. Um, just so remarkable that I thought, what is this world? I'm like, I'm seeing this. I had been there months before in real estate, trying to do a real estate transaction. And then the next time I'm there, I'm seeing this humongous building built and all crumbling. And just like, I thought this is something magical and I want to be a part of it. And so that day I started asking a couple of actors that were, that were on set that, that would give me the time of day. And, uh, I had no idea what I was doing. And, and I, you know, the next day they said, yeah, go to this uh, studio to start studying. And so the next day I was there and I, and I was like, take my money. I want to be an actor. And uh, that was it. I just, I fell in love with it. I just, yeah. When I heard that story, I thought, oh my gosh, uh, this is what you meant to be doing. Yeah. You know, and, and absolutely. And I think, you know, much to my father's chagrin, I was like, uh, yeah, you know, dad, I think I'm going to be an actor now. And he's like, what? What are you What are you talking about? What do you mean acting? Okay, okay, do this for like uh, a year and then come back to real estate. And I was like, mm, maybe not, maybe not just a year. <laughs> uh, I just, so, yeah, what a story! What an absolutely story! What an amazing story! You. So, um, yeah. Mark, we are going to we're going to the US or we're staying in the US. And Sue has got a question for you. And Sue has actually watched it three times already. Um, so, Sue, what's your question for Mark? Hi, Mark. Hi, Sue. Wait, so you watched Hi. season four three times already? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I, I actually started out with watching the very last show, the very last one first. That's that's a problem I have is I, I go to the end, just like with books. I'm working on the Virgin River books right now. But anyway, yeah, I, watched, I just wanted to see what the new cliffhanger was going to be. Sure, sure. So then I moved moved back to starting from the beginning. But uh, I have a, my one of my questions is, other than a job, what drew you to playing Cameron in the series? What was um, the draw for you? So I think I think what you know, like obviously the show. Um, spoil like a little bit of a tidbit. I actually had auditioned back in season one for the pilot. I auditioned for Jack. Um, clearly I didn't get the part, um, uh, and it went to a very well-deserved, uh, actor, Mr. 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 Henderson. Um, but I, so I, I really, I really liked the script and I thought this is a great show. And then, you know, nothing came of that obviously. And then when they reached out to my team, um, for this part, um, it came through the casting directly, uh, to, to my, to my agent. And they were like, we really think he's right for this part. And I said, well, let me, let, let's see it. Um, and it was definitely something that like, I like playing those characters where there's a redeeming quality, where there's some kind of journey. It's not, he's not just what you see on, on the page is what he's like. I, I like something with a bit of an underlying difference. Um, you know, whether he's trying to work through some demons or if he's bad turning good or good turning bad. Like I, I, I like that. Um, I play a lot of those kind of characters, but this particular one, I think it was just the challenge of playing such a kind person who's just jovial and just means well and wants to help others and and is good at his job and and like a human he's insecure and he you know there's just it was it's just very he's very human and he's very well written and i thought you know that would be a joy to play and then they dropped another little nugget on me after the first meeting with the, with with the, the creatives and the, the producers they said you know given the book series dr cameron michaels um, but with your heritage being Lebanese, um, we would like to pivot a little bit with the character. And that's how he became. And he, they said, would you like him to, to change his last name to, to something more to fit your heritage? And I thought that's remarkable and, and very, like, I felt honored. Um, and I know my, my father and, and that side of the family, you know, feel very lucky because when you struggle with the. Uh, representation a lot of people from different cultures in in american television in, in north american television back in the day it was very you know very 
um, very one-sided. And so for them to offer an opportunity for me to play very close to who I am, uh, you know, an American Lebanese, I thought that was wonderful. And I was like, yes, absolutely. Let's, let's do this. Let's play. Um, so that was definitely a big, big part of it. Um, just the, the whole, like the whole package, you know? Well, good. And welcome. And I sure hope you find your own lady friend in the show and stay away from Mel. No. <laughs> Wait, you're one of those people. I get so many of those comments. Let me tell you, Sue. Um, you know, very pleasant, but like, we like you. Welcome to the show, but you stay away from Mel and Jack. And, uh, you know, I mean, they're not here. They're not going to jump out any second. So, you know, don't worry. <laughs> well, if, if they were following the book closer, you would find somebody really well. <laughs> You know, and and I and I'm I'm looking forward to that because I, I think this season, depending on what they do, you know, um, with 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 me, um, whether I stick around or not, as we saw the cliffhanger, um, there's definitely some potential for that. And there's you know, and I've been getting lots of lovely messages of support and people saying like, stick around, don't resign, please, please be part of season five and continue staying in Virgin River. And I think that is to me that's that's so flattering and wonderful. And hopefully, we'll see what they decide to do. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. So, um, Mark, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got a question from Amelia, who is mm -hmm. uh, watching this live from Western Australia. Um, well, she's in Melbourne. And she has asked, um, have you read all of the Virgin River books? I have not. No. Um... I, I didn't uh, because I came late to the game and, and the show had been running, you know, for three seasons already. Um, and I have, you know, um, you know, in all honesty, I have I have a small family and, uh, you know, I didn't when when it came up, it happened so fast that like I got the part and, um, you know, everything was kind of like in place to get going and, and move. I have to, you know, I have to go across the country uh, from Montreal to Vancouver to film, leave my, my family. I have a I have a. A kid and uh you know and so for me i was just like gearing up to do that and i and i honestly like with the book series and with with those kind of adaptations and because they changed cameron a little bit to fit my heritage like i was speaking about i kind of i didn't want to be necessarily informed by how um how they had him in the books um, I wanted to kind of create something different with with the producers and with the showrunner and kind of create his own journey um, so no, I didn't do that. And, and part of it was, was intentional, um, a no time and B, I kind of thought, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's stick with what we're doing with the show. But, uh, I, I hear it's very popular. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, um, Mark, now we have got a question from Diane. Hi, Mark. First of all, congratulations Hi, on an amazing journey on um, season four. You were a great addition to the show. Um, my question for you is, one of my favorite episodes was the Renaissance Fair. So I was wondering, what did you like getting all dressed up and how did you do with that maypole dance? I would have gotten all tangled up in the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, uh, the maypole dance was introduced to me like pretty much that day. I had no idea what I was doing. So it, it was very easy to not, for, for Dr. Dr. Hayek to not know what he was doing because I didn't know what I was doing. And it was, it was, it was, a very, it was a lot of fun. And uh, the, uh, and Terrell who plays Muriel was very, very welcoming and, and giving me some, some stern advice on how to, how to dance it and how to do it. And she was, she was barking the orders at me pretty nicely. And so that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. And as far as the Renaissance Fair stuff, um, I'm no stranger to those kind of period uh, costumes. I did a show. I don't know if any of you have seen it was on the CW called Rain. And it was um, and it was uh, I played uh, the, the Prince of Spain, Don Carlos. And so he was very similarly dressed um, to that. So that, to me, that was fun. That was to kind of get back into that and play the uh, and play the kind of old uh, Renaissance uh, costume was 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 fun. It was a nice little change of pace. Yeah, it looked like it was a lot of fun. You did a great yeah. job on that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, the, the 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 maypole dancing was very very interesting. I had never heard of it until I read the script. I was like, I'm sorry, what what is this, huh? And it was fun because I kind of left it the same sort of thing. Uh, like I didn't want to I didn't want to know. I just wanted to put myself in it. And we started shooting, and it was like you know. And then Martin, who's directing, he was like, Mark, you're doing it a little too well. You got to do it. You got to like screw up more, screw up more, and just have some fun with the not knowing. And I was like, okay, this is fun. 
So yeah, yeah definitely, it was a nice challenge to to do um, to do something like a, like a dance that I had never heard of, and uh, you know, maybe there might be some other surprises in season five. So, thank you. I must admit, I've never heard of that kind of dancing either. So yeah, no. Hmm. Um, so Mark, now we're off to Italy, and it's um, it's after midnight there. So a, a dedicated fan, Kate. What's your question? Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. It's Kate from Hi. Italy. There. <laughs> It's midnight there, but I decided to uh, meet you today. So as a fan of the G River, but I think I can speak for everybody, we really appreciate the entrance of new characters in this season. And one of these is you. So what I would like to ask you is, how do you think Virgin River fan should consider the new doctor? I mean, a temporary or a permanent danger? Because <laughs> we really hope in season five you will find love with someone else, realizing your desire, your character desires to build a family of your own, of course. Well, and, and that's just it. I mean, um, I, I can't spoil anything, obviously. Um, I want to keep my job. Um, Netflix, if you're watching, I'm, I'm, I'm not. They're not. They're not getting any information from me. Um, the the yeah, Dr. Cameron's goals, uh, Dr. Hayek's goals are definitely to, you know, as he said in season four, he wants to start a family. He wants to have that person um, like Jack has with Mel. And, you know, he he means well. And he puts his foot in his mouth just like I have, just like you have, I'm sure. Just, you know, not judging a character by some of their some of their quick actions is is, is very important. I think when it comes to a, a TV show character like like Cameron, you know, he means very well. He's very smart and he's kind. And so, you know, does is does that mean that he's going to find love? We'll see. Um, that's that's always up in the air, and that's that's for the writers to, to write and for you to find out when it airs, I guess. But uh, here's to hoping. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you so much for your answer. <laughs> but I can say we really appreciate your characters because it shakes things and that was needed because it's always good to find more things out. Grazie. I appreciate that. Ah, prego, prego. The only, I, I, know, I, know a little bit of, I know a little bit of Italian. I, I studied Italian in university and the only the ones that I remember are Dudovi uh, la biblioteca. And then, okay. um, where's the library? And then, <laughs> Io sono di Vancouver. Io sono di Montreal. I remember just okay. like the little bits. Yeah. It's, you have you know, a very speak... great accent. Great accent. You can speak Italian. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's maybe that's going to be the next uh, the next thing. You know, we'll see the Italian character. I, I love it. But thank you very much for your question. Thank you. I must um, admit, Mark, that. You know how you joked and said Virgin River. If you're watching, actually, I've had an interview before where somebody said something, and then I had to remove that part of the interview. I didn't ask the question, but somebody said something, so <laughs> they are well, very strict, aren't they? It's very, it's very easy to, you know, you're talking off the cuff. People yeah. are asking questions, and yeah. you're excited. You know things in your head about what, yes. a, what, a, what, a, like a script looks like, what the season looks like. But you, and and you have it in your head, and you want to not spoil. But you also want to give something enough to entertain and and make this interview fun. And and you know, you got to be careful. Yeah. 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 No, I was. Um, yeah, I was thought. Oh my gosh, they the Netflix watched the interview. Um, so now, Mark, we're actually going to the Netherlands. Now, Mariska said that you have won her heart with a behind the scenes dance with Alex, which I haven't yet seen, so I must find that. Um, and she said she's also watched you in some Christmas movies. So Mariska, what's your question? Hi, Mark, nice to meet you. Hi, um, nice to meet you. Well, English is not my first first language, so maybe it's a bit uh, of an accent, can't do uh, anything about it. I love um, it. I really liked your uh, part uh, this uh, season, and I was wondering, uh, you told earlier that you uh, auditioned first for the role of Jack, mm -hmm. uh, and now you've played the whole season, um, and you're, of course, you're now on a new season. Um, uh, which other character do you like the most uh, on Virgin River, and would you like to play? And then... Someone else, maybe as Jack. Well, and that's just it. Like you know, I really liked. I fell in love with the with the with the character of Jack. I thought this was a wonderful experience to play, and I had a lot of fun doing the audition. Um, you know, obviously, it went to a very deserved actor, and uh, he, you know, 
that would have been definitely a fun one because I, I, I grew up in a small town as a kid um, and outside of Montreal uh, called Sutton. And uh, it was a very fun, like upbringing as a, as a kid to, to grow up in that, in that setting. And then to kind of come back to it as somebody that's lived in the urban setting for many, many years. And I've done, you know, I did my, my real estate before that. And I had, you know, that career and then coming back to a small town, you know, as a doctor who has worked in, in the big city, I found that uh, that aspect um, to come in and play Jack would have been really cool too. You know, like something, something like that where it's, it's, I've, I've been in the urban setting and then now I'm coming back to a small town uh, and to play the role of a guy that, that uh, had experiences in, in the war and he came back and the PTSD and everything that he's gone through. Um, and also just like the genuine kindness of, of his character and his, and his moral fiber, I really liked. Um, so Jack was definitely one of them that that I wanted to play. And then keep in mind that I only saw the first script for season one, um, and so I didn't know all the characters that we've seen to, up up into this point. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely Jack was was high on my list of of characters that I would have loved to play on the show. Um, I also like um, I think Brady's character is, is great. Um, the character of Brady's great. Uh, ben does a fantastic job. Um, there's there's definitely a lot of well written characters on the show. So you know, but first first off would have been Jack. I mean, that would have been wonderful, obviously. But I, you know, I'm very very happy to be playing Cameron. So. And the fandom is already uh, uh, making suggestions that maybe you could hook up hook up with uh, Charmaine or Tara next uh, season. Uh. <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen Just that. Just stay even, away from Mel. <laughs> yeah, even my even my mom is like trying to trying to get information from me, saying, "So, are you, do you have a love interest? What's the name? What's the which character? Which one? Do do I know her? Is it a show? Is she a regular? You know, like mom, I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Thank you awesome. for the question. Awesome. Thank you, Mariska. Um, yes, actually, Mark, that was another YouTube question from um, Sherry in South Carolina. And she said, is it possible that you and Tara, Lily's daughter, may become daughter may become an item, but you've answered that. So we will um we'll leave that and we'll move on. I've on. answered in this in the fact that I can answer. Anything. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Great, um, but uh, thank you for the questions either way. You know, like <laughs> yeah. it's it is tough. I mean, for for you guys watching and and for everybody being part of the interview on that side of, of the of the interview desk, it's it's like you know you want you want to ask all the questions, and I don't blame you. Absolutely. Yeah. I just can only tell you what I can tell you. Cool. Okay, so now we are going to Wendy. Now Wendy's in. I think Wendy's in South Africa. Yes. Ah. I'm in South, I'm in Cape Town. Cape Town. Hi. Yeah, but I but I'm actually from France. Oh, bienvenue. Yeah. Hey, Mark. So Hi. nice to see you in my sister's home. It's unbelievable. Well, you actually answered my question without me asking it. Um, you know, this season four was very special for me because um, I live all by myself in France. All my family is in South Africa. Okay. So I'm here now and I could see for the first time a season with a family member. So I watched it with my sister, my sister Brenda. And uh, when uh, Dr. Cameron came on the screen, she said, oh, my goodness, what a looker. <laughs> said, yeah, of course. And so we started wondering uh, where those looks came from. And um, I actually was right. I said, uh, given his name, I think it's Lebanese. So... Uh, she thought that you were from India. So um, that was actually my question, but I'm thinking of something else now. Sure, take your How time. How much and more I... popular are you now <laughs> after after <laughs> VR4? How popular are you now? <laughs> The fandom is is pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty um, electric. I will say. I, I didn't expect uh, such a such a wonderful but quick response to uh, to my character from the fans. Um, I'm, I'm supremely grateful. Um, it's a very very fun show to be part of, and the, the fan base is like. I mean, uh, Alex and Martin uh, talked a lot about it during the season about how 
how important this show is to its to its fans and um i was like sure but i hadn't experienced it i had no idea you know like i've i've been part of shows that were popular but not like this this is this is something this is something very unique there's something that um there's a lot of heart that goes into uh this show and i think the the type of show that it is especially during a pandemic um a lot of people were saying it's a, it, and and i sort of describe it as a, as, a, as an easy to watch show uh, especially at a time when people have so much going on in their lives it's it's a difficult time it's you know you you said you you were away from your family for a long time and you couldn't get back to them and i'm assuming it's part of that is the reason and it's it's just a show that kind of brought like like this community of fans together um, even though they couldn't sit, you know, within six feet of each other, it was something nice to to watch. Um, and it was a show that took a few episodes to kind of build, which is lovely about when you have a show that starts off as a full series, not just a pilot. Um, they get a chance to develop the characters like Hope and Doc and 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 uh, and, and Mel and Jack and, and everybody, and you know, it it, it gives you. A snapshot into like this tiny little town and you feel part of it and you felt you probably felt a little less alone i know i do when i watch when i watch nice television during during this pandemic i'm fortunate to have my family around me but um i felt you just kind of detach from from reality and you get to just enjoy a show and this was a nice show to do that so i'm very grateful to be part of that and 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 if it made people's lives better during during this uh, difficult time i i love that yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm actually on vacation here. I still live in nice. France. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And to yeah. answer your question about like my heritage and and why I look the way I look, as I had nothing to do with it. It was all my mom and dad. Uh, my mom is uh, is is from from uh, from Quebec, from Canada. Um, she's Canadian, uh, blonde-haired, lovely wonderfully beautiful woman um and and uh and my dad lebanese uh he moved to uh he moved to canada with uh you know the the it was the cliched story but but very true like not not much in his pockets and and tried to you know after the with the with the the civil war in lebanon um he moved to to make a new start and uh, this is why i think it's very important to me to play dr cameron hayek um someone who represents the second generation you know my dad came here he wanted me to be a doctor um so now i am just on television uh you know he wanted me to have that career and that and that and that safety of 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 an income and and build something for yourself he worked hard to build something for us as well and my, my mom worked hard to to raise us as well and um and i think that's why i'm so in love with the fact that they allowed me to play very close to who I am uh, an American this is a, he's an American mm -hmm. Lebanese happens to be, be a doctor makes his family proud has the difficulties of of trying to um, live up to expectations um, and you know it's uh, it's it's a wonderful opportunity great awesome. thank you so much thank you so you um, so, Mark, we have got heaps of questions coming through on YouTube Live. So, um, another question from the Netherlands, from a Virgin River series fan. Um, who do you want to have more scenes with? Who, who would you like to have more scenes with? Um, whew, there's, I mean, it's like, it's a big cast. Um, and then, you know, I was, I was friends previous to the show, uh, to, to being on the show with, with Colin Lawrence, who plays Preacher. Um, so, so it, I'd like to interact with him a bit more in, in the show, if that's, if that's where my character goes, if he sticks around. Um, you know, I, I, uh, Zibby, Zibby's fantastic. We got along nicely. Uh, Terrell was great. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of good people on this show. Um, you know, we we had a chance. I had a chance. Really, the only chance I had to mingle in season four with a lot of the other actors was in the wedding scene where everyone kind of came together and a, and a little bit at the Renaissance Fair. Um, but bef but other than that, I spent most of my time with Doc and uh, and with Mel and so and a little bit with with Jack. So um, yeah, I think I'd like to to work with a lot of these uh, these folks. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Um, I've got a question for you. What's on sure. your bu bucket list? I uh, heard or read somewhere that you'd love to work with Reese uh, Witherspoon. What a, what else is on your bucket list? Um, I, you know, like there's there's a, there's so much talent out there. Um, I actually 
somebody from Canada, uh, Ryan Reynolds, who who I find is just he's so compelling and he's hilarious, and I just I just love everything about like the way he presents himself and and sort of his his um, his moral fiber and what he does, you know, for for the for the charities and stuff that he's part of with his wife. And uh, I, I I look up to him in that sense of of being the Canadian who you know who has the dreams and he made it big. And I actually, like, I met him way back in the day in Calgary. He won't remember this. I barely remember it. I met him at a, at a bar when, when he was just finishing Van Wilder. And it was just like, I'm like, huh, that guy, there's that guy, you know? And, and he's grown obviously into like a, like a mega star. And, but he presents himself from what I've heard from people that work with him, that he's not, he's, uh, he's, he's very good to work with, very kind. So that's something that like I strive for. I think it's very important to be, if you're fortunate enough to be successful in this industry, which is, it's rare enough to have that kind of success, um, is to be appreciative of it and kind. And, you know, I think I like, I like working with people that are just happy to be here, you know, from whatever whatever their um, experience is and whatever like if they're just starting out if it's their first project or if they've been doing it for 30 years or 40 years and like like Tim Matheson you know I, I spoke with him a few times on set and he's got stories and and a, and a life in this industry that you know that most people will never build like the amount of experiences he's had and I just think it's so wonderful to to be part of that and he's he's pleasant and he likes to be there and you know that's that's to me is key Yes, we were lucky enough to chat to Tim a few weeks ago and we just, yeah. In fact, like all of the Virgin River cast that um, we've been lucky enough to chat to just seem so, I mean, they've just been so lovely. It's, it's been great. Um, so, Mark, we are, we're going to Jessica in Canada and um, she first watched the show during the pandemic and then she was immediately hooked and she just loves the drama and the... And, um, the romance of the show. So Jessica, what's mm -hmm. your question? Oh, oh, Jessica. Oh, Jessica must have not. She must have just come back. Well, I've lost her. So we'll come back to her. That's okay. Um, okay. We'll go to Hey Love, who is the founder and director of the Lebanese Film Festival in Canada, which is pretty, it sounds amazing. I know her. Ah, is she, oh, has she dropped out too? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Hopefully she'll come back. She was here. I'm here. Oh no, there she is. There. Oh. Okay, go. Yay. Hi. Hi, Kivik. Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. First, congratulations. I'm so happy Thank to you. to join. Thank you for uh, Belinda for doing this. Um, we are so proud of you. I'm talking about the Lebanese community. So <laughs> proud. Of you. Thank you for being part of the Lebanese Film Festival too. Belinda, you have to ask him about his experience because he did great. He was really like uh, our ambassador to the young generation. Um, and thank you for representing the Lebanese community um, proudly. Um, my question to you, yes. as, a Lebanese, as a Lebanese Canadian or as a Canadian with a Lebanese origin, mm -hmm. uh, living two cultures, two different values, the Canadian and the Lebanese. How this life impacted your career and your personal life? Um, definitely, you know, with, with I, I saw the work ethic of my dad, you know, my father, when he came to, to Canada, he, you know, like I said earlier, he came from not much and came from with, with a lot of uncertainty, but a lot of drive and a lot of passion to work and a lot of, and, and wanting to make something of himself and, and make a better life for himself. Um, and then his future family. Um, and I think that was sort of instilled. He always put it when we were kids, um, you know, when you would talk, when you're, when you're a kid, you think, you know, the most important thing is that new toy and that whatever, the, the, the new bike or, you know, some sort of material thing that's most exciting to you when you're a kid. And, you know, we would say, what's the most important thing? And we'd be like, I don't know, like whatever, going to a birthday party, going roller skating, getting a new toy. And he said, no, it's, it's your health and your family. And, uh, so that was always, you know, ingrained in me. And he, and he was, you know, he, he did uh, crack the whip when it came to studying and wanted to make sure that I was, you know, focused and uh, I was making the right choices in school and making, you know, and, and studying and working hard. And so that for me was definitely an impact. And I know a lot of the Lebanese, any, anybody watching that has any kind of 
uh, ethnic origins from the Middle East would be like, ah, yes, I can relate. That's my mom or that's my dad for sure. Um, I think the Lebanese are a very proud people and, and it's very important for them. You know, the, the image is important, uh, but also just the, 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 to work hard and to gain something and to, and to make a name for yourself or to just contribute to, to the country or to the society is very important to the Lebanese. And I, and I appreciate that. And that's sort of, that's sort of important to me. And that's why, um, yeah, with, with my dad, it was definitely, you know, when I, when I got into this business, <laughs> he, when, he always asked, um, you know, okay, what kind of project is this? Uh, is it going to make you some money? You know, because he came from the real estate world and I was previously in the real estate world. And it's part of the reason why I didn't go into theater is because I was also like, I kind of want to also make money doing this. Uh, and, uh, you know, no offense to anybody in theater. It's lovely. But I was like, I was like, no, I want to do this, but I also want to pay my bills like ASAP, which it didn't happen. It took a long, long time to pay to pay bills with this career. Um, but he was always checking to make sure that that it was the path that was sort of suitable to him and his culture uh, from 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 Beirut. And like, you know, for me, it was more like, no, I just want to do this and I'm going to work hard, do what you taught me as far as working hard. But I'm going to, I have to pursue it in a different way. It's not about like going to every audition with the paycheck in mind. It's like, you have the craft, you have the art, you have the passion for it. And, uh, you know, when I started working and I started getting some success, it was very funny to see him sort of like relax at each stage. Like, Oh, okay. Oh, congratulations. Oh, this, this one's a big one. Netflix. Okay. this one, okay. This one, uh, it's a, it's a series. It's a movie. Okay, good, good. How many episodes? Like it was always very the numbers, you know? And I was like, and every time it was just a little less prying, a little less questions, a little less and more, just more, just pride and, and that, and you know, um, so that was, that was, uh, that was very, I got that from him. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you for uh, for your input on this. And I have I have like a tricky question for you. If you got the chance, or if so, if they offered you a Lebanese experience, do you accept the the challenge? To, uh, as far as uh, as far as a project, yeah, as an actor, it's definitely it's definitely interesting to me. It's always going to be a possibility. Um, do you speak you know. Lebanese, Mark? <laughs> Pardon? Do you speak Lebanese? أنا بحكي شوي بس مش مش كتير مش كتير I, I you know I I need to obviously I need to I need to study it but it's something that if if I spent a couple of months in in the Middle East it would come a lot faster uh, my grandmother my teta it was it was she only spoke Arabic and if I wanted to communicate with her that's what we did um, but absolutely I'm I'm up to that challenge you know it has to obviously it has to make sense and 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 has to be a project that I'm that I would be excited about but for sure. Absolutely. And, you know, and to touch on the Lebanese Film Festival we talk about, uh, you know, you have worked very hard yourself to make this, the, the film festival in Canada, very, very successful. And, uh, you know, you're someone that I also, you know, I appreciate the drive and uh, and the effort that you've put in over the years to make something happen and bring awareness to to all over North America about Lebanese film, you know, uh, to the people watching, you, you get to have some incredible movies put forth in front of you at these film festivals with different cultures that you get to see a glimpse inside what it's like to be part of that, that, uh, that nationality. And, and the Lebanese film festival is, is, is no different. It's, it's, it's great. And this lady is, is responsible for it. So thank you. And thanks for having me on board. Hey, well, well uh, we are so proud uh, to have you always um, with us. And, you know, this is the least we can do and give back to our country. You know, we left, we all left uh, sometimes for so, so many reasons we, we have nothing to do with. And we're trying to, uh, to bring everything good from our country and share it with the rest of the world. So uh, hopefully we'll keep doing this. And you are, better. you are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much uh, for the opportunity. And thank you, Mark. It's yeah. always lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. Hello. Thank you. Um, so now we've got a question from Zibi. And I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Yeah, my name is Zippy. Zippy. Sorry, Zippy. <laughs> Hi, Zippy. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, my question is, what is your biggest challenge in the any of your movie? What is my biggest challenge? Yes. Um, I, I, I mean, 
each character is is so different. I mean, sometimes you get you fall into a pattern of playing the same kind of characters, you know, back to back here and there. Like, um, I've done everyone in this has been in this business long enough has had characters that are very similar. Um, so I think the challenge is to make each character its own character and and give it some differentiation from something else you've played. So you're not just looking like Mark playing a character. You're actually creating that character with the with the with the writers and the, and the director and have bringing something to life um and i think that's that to me is 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 the challenge is to make sure that it's i'm, I'm doing the writing justice and i'm putting forth what i believe is is best for the character without making it too much about me because i'm just a part in this whole this whole machine you know it's it's yeah. when a script is done a tv show is made a, a movie is made it's like we all have a part that's why it's called a part it's not the thing actors aren't the be all end all if we were if it was just actors doing the thing it would just be a whole bunch of close-ups that were poorly lit and poorly framed <laughs> if you know it, everyone does their job to make something so extraordinary and and you know my job is to make my character um be truthful in that imaginary world and i think that's the challenge is to make sure that it always stays fresh and that i that i believe in it that's nice that's nice mm -hmm. thank you so much thank you for your question thank you um so mark we're actually going to go uh to vancouver and kerry is one of the ladies there's a group of them as i say and they're over there at the moment um they're very passionate virgin river um fans <laughs> Um, and Kerry's also traveling back uh, to her hometown today. Kerry, what's your question? Well, hi, Mark. Um, hi. Uh, congratulations on a great season. And, uh, uh, and I also want to thank you very much for participating today. Um, we just love to get to uh, talk to people that are actually, you know, involved in the show. So um, it's very exciting for us. So, uh, I appreciate the time that you ta you've taken out of your day to do this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Where, where are you going to? Where are you heading back? Where's home? Um, Virginia. Oh, nice. So in the States. So right on. Right on. Uh, I, I will get there back tomorrow, but safe travels when you do. Yeah. Thank you. So um, without giving anything away, and this can go in any direction that you want it to go. Um, <laughs> we, we obviously know you are in the next season because you were in the table read and they put that out. So, um, but uh, at least in the beginning, you're, you're there. Um, mm -hmm. But what sort of challenges do you see Cameron having to overcome in the next season? I mean, it could be anything. It doesn't have to have anything to do with ladies. It could be, you know, being lonely, be any, any direction you want to go. Well, I, I think I think that's that's uh, that's a good point. I mean, you know, obviously I can't say anything, and uh, not everything's written. So, I, you know, I would also be speculating and guessing at some point uh, some of this stuff. But, you know, just to speak from from carrying on from the last episode of season four, he put his foot in his mouth to think like all the way up to his knee, um, and he's gonna have to work to get it out. And I think. Um, the challenge is for him as, as a newbie in this wonderful town full of people that protect the valuable people of its own town. It's, it, it, it's to get back into like a positive grace um, and, and to be, and to be maybe cherished as a member of the Virgin river uh, family. And I, and I think that's, that's up to him to, to, um, to make amends and to, to possibly, you know, repair, repair damages um and also you know it's he made it pretty awkward um not not on purpose um and i think he you know he's also you know like you say possibly lonely he comes to a town doesn't know anybody only knows doc who knew him since he was in short pants um and i think that's for him it was to feel part of something you know and he had that for a while and kind of kind of screwed it up um, so I think it's 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 on him to kind of fix that and see where that goes and if he can be sort of accepted as 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 part of the family again, you know. Yep. That's all I can say. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. Cool. Um, so Mark, now we have a question from Mel. Like Mel from Oh, Virginia. hi, Mark. Oh no. And. Um, Hi. Welcome to the uh, awesome cast of Virgin River. Thank you. 
And I, I am sure you realize that all eyes were on you. And of course, other than Alexandra and Martin Anderson, we had our eyes on you, how you will perform. And you did very well. Other than, other than the good looks, you're a great actor, I think. And you had an instant popularity because of, I should say, my opinion, because of Virgin River this time. And um, you added, you know, a sort of a spice to the show. And we hope you will continue to be part of the forthcoming seasons. Uh, most you. of my questions have been answered, but... I'd like to ask you this. Uh, what or who insp inspire you to work harder? Your inspiration, I mean. Um, for, for a long time, you know, I, I spoke about my father putting, um, putting that into me about like, about working hard and, and he, you know, work hard, play hard, um, and create something for yourself. Um, I, I was fortunate to have his support when I started out in the industry. And, uh, you know, as we, as that sort of old adage goes, it takes 10 years or 10,000 hours to, to make anything happen of meaningful, of meaningful in your life. And, and I stuck with it and I worked hard and, um, that was definitely a motivating factor to get me into this industry to 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 find success and to to work. I'm very fortunate to be working uh, uh, in this business that I love. Um, you know, not everyone gets the chance to do the things that I've gotten to do, and and I don't take that for granted at all. And I think um, now, absolutely, 100, percent my my driving force for for working hard is is my family. Is my it, is my family. I have a, I have a seven year old girl and, uh, almost seven rather. Um, and, uh, and my, and my partner, she's just like, they're, they're everything to me. And it's, it's very important to me that I, that I continue to, you know, push this, uh, this, this career forward and to, and to, um, keep my own, you know, wits about me in this, in this, in this, Hollywood industry, you know, it's, it's very complicated. It can get very, you know, um, you know, you get caught up in, in all, in all the fandom of it all and, 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 and the, and the, and that side of the business, but you have to focus on, and on building your character, building the building and doing the best for the show. And, um, these sort of things are fun. These interviews are super fun. And it's just like, you know, I get to let people know who I am, Mark and Ime, uh, as opposed to just, you know, when you watch me on TV, you see the character and that's all, you know. Um, but for me, it's, it's, it's very important to be kind. Um, that's always been my number one motto. I'm like, you treat everybody with respect. Um, this industry can can get kind of sticky if you if you don't. And uh, and I think that's important to me. Um, and, and just to continue to build something, like I said, for for my family. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, Mal. We've just got you on mute. Can you just unmute yourself? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, uh, thank you, Mark, and um, uh, and also I would like to thank the fan page of Martin Henderson on Facebook. They keep us, you know, all busy uh, while waiting for another year for season five. Oh so yeah, that, that fan page is really, really very important to me. I I put my like every day and. For all you know, one year is over and we have another season coming. And thank you very much. And uh, I must say, uh, you do not hate your character because you moved away as fast as you can from Mel. You're such a gentleman in that show. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, that was uh, that was important to me to be like, you know, obviously, obviously, it's good to form some drama. It's good to have people talking about you, whether it's good or bad on these kind of shows. Yeah, you want yeah, that yeah. those triangles you want to create uh, possibly the, the drama. Um, and it was but it was important to me that people saw how Cameron's intentions were really, you know, he did not set out to get to metal to get in the middle of it all. Um, he wants to find love. And I think he, you know, he fell for, for Mel in unintentionally. He, she's she's wonderful. And she's he looked up to her as, as a person in the town and and she's great at her job and she's you know well respected and i think and she's kind and 
he found her attractive and it was all like that whole package that came together and he was like oh i think it was it was, it was in the wedding scene where she walks in and he sees her and he realizes that he's staring at her and uh and doc catches him kind of like enamored and he was just like oh crap what have i done i've fallen for this woman and so that that that's very much what i what we had sort of planned for the thing and uh and I really feel lucky to be welcomed and people like you that, that like the show and, 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 and appreciate what we do with the characters. And so thank you for, thanks for asking the questions. And I love your glasses and, and the hair thing going on. You, you have a wonderful look. Thank you. I'm, I would like to say, I must admit, I am 75 years old already. I'm a grandma. Hats, Hats off, off to you. Thank you uh, very much. No, absolutely. And, and thank you for taking the time to, to be part of this. I will always for Belinda. We love her. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mel. Um, we have got a question from Shirin. And I hope I'm saying her name correctly. Oh, I think she's just unmuting herself. E can you hear us? Oh, I can see that she's um, just, I'll just give it a minute. Technology's great when it works. Zoom yeah, Zoom needs to figure out an easier way to unmute. It should be like, yeah. hey, Zoom, unmute. Um, Jerem, can you hear us? Oh, when you get it sorted, just unmute and just jump in and then we'll um, we'll come back to you. I can see that you are, I can see you up in the top corner trying to work it out, but hopefully. Um, while we work that out, we're actually, we have got a Kiwi, so a New Zealander who is in Vancouver. She is part of the group that is just <laughs> passionate um, Virgin River fans. Avril, what was your question? Oh, no, she's, Avril, you need to unmute. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> Hopefully, no. Oh, Avril, I can see that you're talking, but nothing is coming through. Oh, we might have to, we'll come back to you. Um, oh, no, got it. There we go. Yay. Yes. Look at us. You got it. Got it. Hi, Mark. Uh, it's, uh, I'm Avril, and uh, I have come over from New Zealand, especially for Virgin River. I already booked my tickets and then decided I was going to do my own thing. And then I got caught up in this wonderful group <laughs> and uh, it's been amazing. My wish has been to come to Canada for many, many years. I'm a little bit younger than the previous woman. I'm 73, but I thought I'm not letting age stop me. I've got to do this. This is, so, this is fantastic. Um, Welcome. Thank you. Now, I'm one of these people who actually hasn't seen it yet. The season four, I mean, I have mm -hmm. completely blitzed all the other seasons and I thought, I'm going to wait till I get home and really enjoy it to the full. So I'm wondering, should I join the Zoom or not? Because I'm picking up little bits and pieces and I think, oh, damn. <laughs> well, you know, I think regardless, you're still going to enjoy the show. The season is going to be, it's going to be a nice watch when you get back. Yeah. Um, hopefully I haven't spoiled too much for you, but uh, yeah. No, no, it's, no, no. Uh, it's just, um, I should have thought about it myself. But anyway, I, um, yeah, and I came over for my fellow countryman, Martin Henderson, because I've watched him since he was 17 years old in Shortland Street. My <laughs> children used to watch him and they just adored him, of course. So uh, anyway, pass it, moving awesome. on, I... Yeah. My question is, um, are you going to get any more dance lessons from Alex so that we can have more dance sequence actually in the show? Because that one on Doc Balcony was amazing. It was fabulous. You know, um, I, I like the jam. I like the groove. Um, awesome. But I have to take my hat off to Alex. She she dances like, like all the time on the show I know. Like in between yeah. shots you know I've, you've seen it you've, there's been montages yeah. i'm sure too yeah. she and she's she loves to dance she's she's a, she's a wonderful spirit and she's really fun to be with on set and um so i i think i need to i need to loosen up and, and do some more dancing with her you do. If, yeah. I'm, if, I'm to still, do if i'm still part of season five you know um and uh that was definitely that was like um 
that was fun to be introduced to the the fandom when they posted that video on the virgin river series uh instagram account um uh our ep jocelyn at the time was filming all these things and i was like hmm, i wonder what's going to happen with this and then here we here we are <laughs> So it's nice, and uh, you know she, th that that kind of vibe that you saw in that video is is a, is a lot like what it's like to be on set, especially when, yeah. when uh, Alex is around. It's wonderful. I can imagine, and also uh, just recently we, the group of us, we visited the studio, and I dropped off some gifts for a lot of the cast. But unfortunately, because I hadn't met you, I didn't leave one for you. But hey, I'm knitting you a pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> well that's wonderful i'm i'm so i'm so disappointed that you didn't leave me a gift and you hadn't met me yet that's just terrible of you i don't know how you who who do you think you are showing up without a gift for me um no but uh, i i actually uh, i think i saw a post from from alex sort of thanking people for some of the things that were given to her from from the fandom and that's that's wonderful i mean this is this is what this like this world is about it's just kind of like yeah. being part of something so great and thank you for the socks i do live in quebec in the winter and it's really cold and i will need some good socks so thank you they will be sent to you. <laughs> Wonderful. Via the studio, of course. Of course, yeah, yeah. You yeah. show up on my door. Uh, wait a second. What's? How did this happen? Uh, who the hell are you? <laughs> I'll be like, Blinda, stop giving out my address. No way. Hey, well, thank you very much. Have you ever been to New Zealand at all or not yet? I have not. I have not been to New Zealand, Australia. I haven't been that far. The furthest I've been is the Middle East. Um, but my uh, my well-traveled uh, partner, she will definitely want me to go with her somewhere uh, somewhere near there. And so that's definitely that's on my bucket list, New Zealand. Absolutely. Because, you know, not to disparage Australia, but I hear New Zealand doesn't have... <laughs> no, 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 because I, I love I love everybody there. Like, but not I hear New Zealand has less crazy ass bugs. Oh yes. Oh no we've, bugs. Got, we've got no snakes, there are no, some no scary, no scary, scary bugs in Australia. And I don't like bugs, yeah. and I don't like bugs that could destroy me. So no, like we don't I think them. I think New Zealand would be definitely somewhere I'd want to go. So yeah. <laughs> Huge filming industry there now too. Yeah, absolutely. Filming up. Yeah. Well, thank you very much and all the very best. I look forward to seeing you for the first time on season four when I get round to it. Well, I hope you like it. I hope you don't, I hope I will, you don't hate I me for, for meddling with, with Mel and No, Jack. I won't. <laughs> thank you, everyone. I'm waiting for those socks. You send me those socks, okay? It's going to get cold soon. So. I promise. I promise. <laughs> She actually, when we were chatting to Tim, Tim was talking about how he loved wine. So Avril um, also brought over some kiwi because New Zealand wine is also amazing. I don't drink, but I've heard. Um, so yeah, you will have to. I thought New she Zealand. would. I thought she was going to knit him a wine cozy, or something. <laughs> Mark, I know we're on the hour, but I was just wondering. There's one fan on here who hasn't asked a question. Hopefully, we um, let's go. Like no, I mean, if you've got, I've got time. Let's, oh, let's party. Yeah. So I'm just, Sharon. Can you hear it's us? Saturday. Or? It's um, she's looking at her computer because I can see her. I'm going to I'm going to ask you to unmute and then can you uh, unmute? We were able to do it before. Oh. oh, no, hold on. Maybe I've got the wrong. Maybe. OK, well, we've got we've got heaps of questions coming in, um, but I'll, I'll ask you one last one. Um, this and to all the people who have asked questions on YouTube, I'll, I'll send them maybe through to Mark and hopefully he'll be able to put them on his Instagram because he's learning how to do all that stuff and answer your questions there. But we've got um, like one, an... one person from Virgin River Moments um, from Instagram. She does an amazing job of um, keeping the fans up to date. She would like I've to seen know... some of her stuff. Yes, mm -hmm. yep. She would like to know um, what is important about the Lebanese culture? Um, there's so much where to start, but, uh, other than the food, which is incredible, I mean, it's, you know, any of those sort of Mediterranean countries, you know, Greek, uh, Italian, Lebanese, like that, just that, that food, that world of food is so, so wonderful. And, you know, I'm, uh, um, that's, that's definitely high up there, but the main thing I think about the Lebanese people about the culture for me that stands out is the joie de vivre you know the the love of life and you know 
much like many cultures, many countries, they've gone through hardships, um, but they always seem to come out of it, even if they're not out of it, they come out of it with um, a, a love, a love of life and a love of just kind of togetherness and, and family. And I've always found that, you know, you go like, this is a country that spent years in, in a civil war um, with itself. And, and then the, the economic crisis and the explosion of 2020, the like, and, and the collapse of the, the economy, the, 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 the corruption in, in the government side of things that, that the people are just fighting to save you know, and you know, there's a lot of hard stuff. And I talked to Hey Love about this from from the Lebanese Film Festival. Um, how it's wonderful to see films come out that actually show that, because a lot of the time you just want to show the good things about a culture and about a life. And and you see films, you get a chance to watch. I watched a wonderful film on the opening night that was about the the garbage crisis in Lebanon and how they deal with the gar garbage. And it's something that a lot of people don't know of. And um, showing them like seeing them show the bad stuff of a culture, but do it with passion and love and say, this is what we want to fix. This is what we want to make better. That to me is, is it sums up the people, like just the fight of, 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 the, of the people to, to just be, and you don't meet a, a people as warm and, and giving as like you go to Beirut and you don't know anybody and you can just be welcomed in and, and food thrown at you and like, and, and, and please stay at my place. Please let me introduce you to this cousin. you probably have a cousin here. Like everyone's cousins. Everyone is a cousin. And it's just the warmth of that and, and the care that they have for one another. So it's a short story long, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much, Mark. Um, I just wanted to yeah, thank a few people. Um, thank you to the, the fans who have joined in today. Thank you to everyone who's watching this live on YouTube. Um, I have got your questions and I'll, I can, I'll flip them through to Mark. Um, as I say, he might be able to answer them on his Instagram for you. Um, yeah, I might, I might be able to, maybe I'll do like a little stories series if I can figure out how that works. Yeah, <laughs> um, absolutely. You know, answer a question here and there and uh, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also... <laughs> Is Shelly, who's um, helping out, and my daughter Bella, who got roped into this as well. She's helping out, and Cheryl in, in the States. But Mark, thank you so much for joining. No. Um, it has been thank amazing, you. and I hope we can chat again soon. Yeah, absolutely. This was so much fun. And when, I, when you asked me to be part of it and my agent had sent the information, I thought, this is, this is cool. Like, I just thought it was a regular interview. But then when I found out that you've done a lot of this with the different cast members and this was going to be an interactive thing with real questions from people, fans of the show, I thought, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm in. So thank you for putting this all together. And uh, um, I, I appreciate that. And I look forward to look, I look forward to seeing your other interviews in the future as well. And thank you to all the people that tuned in, all the fans. Um, I'm very blessed to be part of a really cool show. Um, and the fandom's insanely, like insanely, like loving and, and warm and, and and passionate and and I think it's it's great and I and I and I look forward to showing you what uh, what may happen for the next season um, and I appreciate the love that you've been sending me um, online for my character and, and and my work I appreciate it you know thank you awesome all right Mark I'll um I will be in touch um yeah so that we can get these socks to you because yeah they will be amazing I need socks. <laughs> I don't have any socks on right now. I need socks. <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you so much, Mark. And um, yeah, all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your flights and all that stuff. Thank you.